But get what I said in the quarry demo. I am nails. That was easy. It's a walk in the park. I barely flinched. So why not play the whole game? It was at this moment that she knew. She fucked up. Before I started the game I played with the settings a little bit. I noticed on the demo it was quite dark, so I've tried to brighten it up a bit as well. I woke up to an urban door, wrapped up in my lover's Hopefully that shows. I feel it in my weary bones. I'm You'll notice the song's different as well, for copyright reasons. Still a good song. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max, we're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I went map last time, so I'm gonna go leaflet. Just Were there any happens. directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. <laughs>
are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Definitely looked like a person crouched oh, are you on. Serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Here we go again. It's definitely looking a lot brighter than when I played the demo, which is good. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space eater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Even though I know what happens in this first bit, it still gets me. Where are you going? Just over here. Just... Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Luck with the car. definitely see better than the demo it's not as dark so hopefully I can look around a little bit more we'll, we'll see
Oh shit! I don't think I went this way last time. Apologies, I'm swearing already. There's no way I can play this game without swearing. Who's Silas? Take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Yes, there we go. Burn like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Laura, man. You're not helping right now. Can you just. I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh! Ah! Fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, hey, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Creepy cop. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna make the same decisions I made in the demo. I'm not sure yet. Well, you folks wanna tell me what happened here? Yeah. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. I don't know. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal.
Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry summer camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Last time I was compliant. I'm gonna see what happens. I choose this With one. all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Nope. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So it's the same outcome. Okay. So we. He's so weird. All right, about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right. Okay. And where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks. The Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Right. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. Get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s... Debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here.
You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is anybody home? Quite dark. It's definitely better, but there's still parts of it that are really dark. But I'm guessing that's how the game's been designed. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. There's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Hey, you ready to roll? Apparently not. It is quite awkward as well to control where the torch goes. Oh, here we go again. Everybody needs help. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Why, why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let 
there, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Okay, I went with Hammer last time, so we'll go with Wrench. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it online. Damn. Really? You need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Who would do this in real life? No chance. I'd be gone now. In fact, I wouldn't even be down here. So stupid. Bloodied collar. Looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? That's a good point. Max? Is this an animal? Or... So last time I walked back, so let's go this way. Let's see if I walk closer. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Max? Max! Max! That's what? Just a bit. Oh, you gotta help him. Now, 
I've seen all of this through the demo. From this point on, it's totally new territory for me, so... But even though I knew what was coming, I still got jumpy. Like I said in the demo, the cop definitely seems like he knows something. He knows what's going on in some way, shape or form. Poor Max. My friend, welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're oh. supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and I'm lies. Guessing I've missed some Paths stuff then. to uncover on which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What about the collar? Found a collar. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Okay. Is that the car that was there the night I was here? What 
Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Jake, bags, focus. to make sure that I look around properly this time. I thought I did last time, but apparently not. Oh, hey. This is Emma's. Spider fuck! Nah, I let him go. Yeah, you better run. Just let me have a quick look on the then you see what's on here. So we have a map, camp lodge, camp cabins. Built as the central hub of Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, the lodge is where campers congregate for meals, lessons and indoor activities. It's also home to our nurses station, just in case of any unlikely bumps and bruises. Cabins. Campers bunk together in the camp cabins, supervised by our team of helpful counsellors. The large tree that stands tall in the middle of the cabin symbolises the growth of all our campers at Hackett's Quarry and their journey into blossom Hacketeers. Okay. So Dylan, Emma, Jacob, Caitlin, Nick and Ryan are here. And Abigail is there. No turrets. Okay, grab the remaining bags from the lodge. No evidence yet. One clue. Hmm. I wonder if all these are what I missed. I hope not. Laura and Max. Love at first fright. Journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much a relationship can endure view your path above the law you'll never take me alive a shot in the dark come back to haunt you with the long arm of the law ever extending whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked in the storm shelter Laura was honest with the cop about the accident on the road. Okay. Keepsakes. Cherish or perish. A cherished keepsake worth dying for. Experience the power of nostalgia. It might just help you survive. Hopefully it won't end up as something to remember you by. Jack picked up Emma's silver bracelet. Okay. Let's go. Go. Uh, I think I've got to get the bags from up there, so I'm gonna search down here first. <clears throat> hey, what are you? Uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. <clears throat> no 
Hello? Whatever, man. I think we can head out now. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I got to get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. General store. Don't think there's a run button. I don't think I can jog. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and it's still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Skill. <sighs> oh, wasn't meant to do that. Oh, double skill. <sighs> it's going to be triple skill in a minute. Castle, Elliot Sparks, Slaughter by Sunrise. Sure, I've checked everything in here first. I think so. This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus.
Can I do anything? No? I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Turret card. Let's have a quick look at this. Temperance. To be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess temperance. Take it or leave it, but remember sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Mm, I'm guessing this is what that old lady was on about as clues, these tarot cards. So unfortunately, I probably missed one in the start of the game. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. See that? Is that noise the fridge? this guy okay really dude locking me out okay in my defense a it was dylan's idea and two it was really funny oh yeah right is that is that right i don't write the rules man okay whatever look are you gonna help me with the bags or what no nah, i gotta stay here and wait for mr h to return our cell phone sorry jesus christ okay and why are the stairs blocked well apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! <laughs> Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob.
I cannot see a thing down this corridor. Let's go back out that door that I unlocked, the front door. Or the side door. Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Okay, so let's go back inside, fire the bags. I wish there was a, a button to jog. It just seems a bit slow walking around. Alright, bags. the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? 
Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. You're right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good <laughs> sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh, Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Mm. Okay, let's do it. Break it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aw. 
This was little Izzy's. get you back to Izzy. It's really tough to decide whether what to do because you don't know if it's going to help you or hinder you later on down the line. Actually, gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Why would this place be in the news? Let's have a look at that. Newspaper headline scrap from the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Hmm. Which I know this poster as well. It said it, it looked like it had burn marks around the edges. So... Maybe there was a fire here. Okay. I think that might be everything. Uh, there's nothing there. I can't walk any further down this way. There's nothing here. Okay. I think that's it. Let's head out. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. It's going to be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement.
Like, I just want to check the other cabins before we leave the area. If I can. I wish there was some sort of run button. Oh, something here. What's this? Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids are not the same. <laughs> Camp song recording. A recording of the Hackett's Quarry camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. That pool. It is. No, I'll come back for that. I just want to check cabins over this side. Oh, I think I just found a way to walk a bit quicker. Oh, is that my friend waiting? Yeah, I think, I think she's waiting for me. Imagine doing this in real life. You, your mate just starts like checking every single cabin. You'd be like, what are you doing? And then, before I go there, I just quickly check uh, this building. And, okay, I'll check the door first. go around the side. Okay, so you're telling me I checked every single cabin for no reason. Lady, better not say I've missed anything. Alright, we'll, we'll 
we're going, we're going. Ready to roll? I don't know where else to check, Good. so. Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, yeah, see why? route? One last victory lap around the camp? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's a horror game. I feel like it's a bad idea to take a scenic route. But, you know, why not? Sure, what's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. What? You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Somebody watching us. Hmm. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. 
just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She mm -hmm. haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Oh. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Mm, I feel like I might need some charge on my phone. Let's see what happens if... I'll push it a bit. Come on, that's like super unchilled. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Let me you the van, okay?
I'm just trying to think ahead with my decisions, what I might So, need. uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Hmm, I'm definitely gonna use drop, I think. What? Because kids are kids. You can only be so much of them. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Don't get caught. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Ah. I mean, I heard... I, I, I didn't mean, know I was, he was gonna I be dumb enough to were. get caught. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's already pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter? With these terrified kids that they sent home. Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. 
teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. What's wrong with it? Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. <sighs> Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. He's not too weird. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! <sighs> Just like the car. He definitely knows so, something. What was that about? He uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or or we could do something else. Nah. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? 
He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, <laughs> you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Uh oh. in season. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Yep. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And 
Look out for my cards. I will. Chapter two, true for dare. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Ow. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. <laughs> Hi, there we go. And Viola. Uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, uh, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Took you long enough. Well, I got it open, didn't I? It's okay, it's not a race. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it? Mm hmm You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end it there the start of chapter two. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far to be fair considering I said I don't normally play horror games. The storyline's really interesting so I am enjoying it and there's not been too many jump scares yet. I think there's gonna be more coming up obviously. This is just introducing you into the storyline uh, and it is interesting as well to see what happens next. So thank you for watching, hopefully catch you in chapter 2. Bye for now.